About 200,000 self-employed persons have benefited from a government relief scheme. Manpap Minister Josephine Teo says as of the end of last month, close to $1.8 billion has been dispersed. Those eligible have received three quarterly cash payouts of $3,000 each. Mrs. Teo gave the update in response to a question on the scheme in Parliament. She says those who need more support may approach the social service offices. Chloe Chu reports. During the circuit breaker, this tuition centre was vacant for at least two months. But whether there are classes or not, the rent is still due every month. There was one saving grace for chemistry tutor Tan Jialin. She was eligible for the payouts of $9,000 in total. They helped to cover the rent uh, for the period where we were not able to operate at the centre. It also allowed me to purchase the equipment needed for us to do online lessons because things like we have got a tablet for us to be able to share screen for students to view it from home. Classes have resumed, but Ms Tan says the rental is unsustainable as some students are still opting for online lessons and the classrooms are not being used at its maximum capacity. She intends to continue teaching even without the income support, but believes it makes more financial sense to teach from home. But not all self-employed persons received the payouts. The third time was not the charm for Grab driver Brian Ting. I did not manage to get, after three times of appealing, we tried asking, but however, they did not disclose. So we have to keep trying without knowing what is wrong. I have to dip into my wife's savings just to meet our ends because my car daily rental has to, still has to go. Mr Ting adds that each appeal took around two months for relevant agencies to respond. His main gripe was not knowing exactly why he was unsuccessful in the first place. That's because there are different requirements to meet for SEPs, such as one's net trade income and annual home value. He hopes the next round of government support is more inclusive, with some form of financial aid for those that were not eligible for SERS.